has nothing to do with, you know, your willpower, for example. If I gave you insulin, you would gain weight. Why? Because I'm giving your body the instructions to store energy. On average, people are the most hungry at 8 p.m. and the least hungry at 8 a.m. So in the morning time, you are actually the least hungry that you will be all day. That's just an average. And at 8, 8 p.m. in the evening time, you are the most hungry. So 8 a.m. is the period of time that you've gone the longest without food. So why are you the least hungry? You've been told that weight loss is simply about eating less and moving more. But what if I revealed that there's a hidden conversation happening inside of your body right now? A biochemical dialogue that's sabotaging your best efforts to lose weight. Most people believe willpower is what separates successful weight loss from failure. They think if they could just resist that afternoon craving or skip that late night snack, they'd finally reach their goals. But here's the reality that the diet industry does not want you to know. Your hunger isn't a character flaw. I repeat, your hunger isn't a character flaw. It's controlled by two master hormones that are either working for you or against you. These hormones, ghrelin and leptin, are conducting an intricate symphony of appetite signals in your body every single day. When they're in harmony, weight management becomes effortless. When they're out of sync, they're fighting a losing battle against their own biology. Why were they eating more calories than they could expend, right? And it's because the body is, is being told to store energy right? That's the way it is. That's why you're taking in more calories or you're, you're storing more calories is because your body has hormones that tell you to store calories. So there's a hormone called insulin, for example. And if you give people insulin, so inject them with insulin, which is a drug for type 2 diabetes, almost everybody gains weight. So if you give somebody insulin, they gain weight. If I gave you insulin, you would gain weight. It has nothing to do with the, you know, your willpower, for example. If I gave you insulin, you would gain weight. Why? Because I'm giving your body the instructions to store energy. Today, I'm going to reveal exactly how these hunger hormones work, why they may be sabotaging your weight loss efforts, and most importantly, how you can master them to finally achieve the sustainable weight control you've been seeking. Meet your body's appetite orchestra, ghrelin and leptin. These two hormones are the real puppet masters behind your hunger and fullness signals. Think of ghrelin as your body's go signal. It's produced in your stomach and tells your brain it's time to seek out food. Leptin, on the other hand, is your stop signal, produced by your fat cells to tell your brain you've had enough. Ironic, isn't it? Your fat cells signaling your brain that you've had enough. Who would have thought? When these hormones are functioning properly, weight management should be automatic. You feel hungry, you eat, ghrelin drops, leptin rises, and you naturally stop eating when satisfied. It's a beautiful system that has kept humans at healthy weights for thousands of years. But here's where it gets fascinating. Our modern lifestyle has hijacked this ancient system. The same foods, stress patterns, and sleep habits that define contemporary living are scrambling these hormone signals, leaving you feeling hungry even when your body has plenty of stored energy. Understanding and rebalancing these hormones isn't just helpful for weight loss. It's absolutely essential. Let's dive deeper into how these master hormones actually work and why yours might be working against you. The Ghrelin-Leptin Partnership Ghrelin, often called the hunger hormone, is your body's only known appetite-stimulating gut peptide. That's a mouthful. It's produced primarily in your stomach and has a job that goes far beyond just making you hungry. When ghrelin travels through your bloodstream to your hypothalamus in your brain, it doesn't just signal hunger. It prepares your entire digestive system for incoming food, influences your sleep-wake cycle, and even affects your taste sensation. But here's what makes ghrelin particularly interesting. It's designed to rise when your stomach is empty and fall after you've eaten. In a healthy system, this creates a natural rhythm of hunger and satisfaction that keeps your energy intake balanced with your needs. Leptin operates on a completely different timeline. Discovered in 1994, this satiety hormone is produced by your fat cells 
and acts as your body's long-term energy gauge. The more fat tissue you have, the more leptin you produce. Its message to your brain is simple. We have enough energy stored. You can stop seeking food now. When leptin is working correctly, it not only suppresses your appetite, but can actually increase your metabolism. There is leptin resistance. The question again is why? And the way to think about it is it's sort of this sort of balance, right? So insulin, if you give people insulin, like if you think about causes of obesity, what causes people to gain weight? Well, if I give you insulin, you'll gain weight. If I give me insulin, I'll gain weight. So insulin causes weight gain, whereas leptin will cause the opposite. So it's sort of this seesaw. Body fat is nothing more or less than uh, a store of energy right? And you only store energy when your body tells you. Our entire body runs on hormones, right? Nothing happens without the hormonal system being activated. So insulin is pushing us to gain weight. Leptin us is pushing us to lose weight. And what's happening is that one is sort of overcoming the other. Insulin is overcoming the leptin. The modern disruption when good hormones go bad. Now, here's where things get complicated. Our modern lifestyle has created a perfect storm of hormonal disruption that turns these helpful signals into weight gain accelerators. The insulin connection is crucial here. Remember from our previous discussions how chronic high insulin levels caused by diets rich in refined carbohydrates and sugars lead to insulin resistance? Well, insulin actually stimulates leptin production. More leptin should mean feeling fuller, right? But the constant bombardment of high insulin creates chronically elevated leptin levels. Just as your cells can become resistant to insulin, your brain can become resistant to leptin. Even though you have high levels of leptin circulating in your bloodstream, your hypothalamus isn't receiving the I'm full signal. Your brain mistakenly believes you're starving, despite having adequate energy stores in your fat cells. This triggers an overwhelming biological drive to eat more and conserve energy by slowing your metabolism. People talk about hunger, for example, but again, hunger is very interesting because people think it's the amount of time that you haven't eaten, but it's not true. It's actually hormonally mediated. So if you think about hunger, I actually found this really fascinating. So if you look at studies of when people are the most hungry and the least hungry, on average, people are the most hungry at 8 p.m. and the least hungry at 8 a.m. So in the morning time, you are actually the least hungry that you will be all day. That's just an average. And at 8, 8 p.m. in the evening time, you are the most hungry. So 8 a.m. is the period of time that you've gone the longest without food. So why are you the least hungry? It's because it's hormonally mediated. But the disruption doesn't stop there. Chronic stress and poor sleep create additional chaos in this delicate system. Chronic stress elevates cortisol levels, which directly increases ghrelin production. This stress-induced ghrelin surge doesn't just make you hungry. It specifically drives cravings for high-calorie comfort foods and promotes fat storage around your midsection. Sleep deprivation delivers a double blow to your appetite hormones. Even a single night of poor sleep can cause ghrelin levels to spike while simultaneously reducing leptin production. This combination creates the perfect recipe for overeating. You feel hungrier while losing the ability to recognize when you're actually full. Research published in multiple studies has consistently shown that sleep-deprived individuals have significantly higher ghrelin levels and lower leptin levels compared to those getting adequate rest. This isn't just about feeling tired. It's about your hormones actively working against your weight loss efforts. The vicious cycle that keeps you stuck. Once this hormonal disruption takes hold, it creates a self-perpetuating cycle that becomes increasingly difficult to break. High insulin drives leptin resistance, which your brain interprets as starvation, triggering increased hunger and reduced metabolism. This leads to overeating, particularly of the refined carbohydrates that caused the problem in the first place, driving insulin even higher. Meanwhile, the stress of constantly fighting your hunger while not seeing results on the scale elevates cortisol, which increases ghrelin and further disrupts sleep quality. Poor sleep then amplifies the entire problem by driving ghrelin higher and leptin lower. It's a metabolic trap that has nothing to do with willpower and everything to do with biochemistry. Understanding this cycle is liberating because it removes the blame and shame from weight struggles. You're not lacking discipline. You're fighting against powerful biological signals that have been disrupted by modern living. But more importantly, understanding the mechanism gives us a clear roadmap for solutions. 
If you want to understand exactly how insulin disruption contributes to this hormonal chaos, click here to watch our comprehensive video on mastering insulin for weight loss. The beautiful thing about hormone optimization is that the strategies can be customized based on your individual situation and lifestyle. Different approaches work better depending on whether you're dealing with high stress, poor sleep, insulin resistance, or a combination of factors. For dealing primarily with stress-induced weight gain, the focus should be on cortisol management through stress reduction techniques and nervous system regulation. Individuals with significant insulin resistance may need to prioritize dietary changes that stabilize blood sugar first, while those with severe sleep disruption should make sleep optimization the foundation of their approach. The key is understanding that these hormones don't operate in isolation. They're part of an interconnected network. Improving one often creates positive cascading effects on the others. For example, prioritizing sleep not only directly improves ghrelin and leptin balance, but also enhances insulin sensitivity and reduces cortisol production. Some individuals may benefit from time-restricted eating approaches that allow natural ghrelin and leptin rhythms to reset, while others might need to focus on meal composition and timing to optimize their hormonal responses. The most effective approach is one that addresses your primary areas of disruption while supporting overall hormonal harmony. Now let's get practical. Here are the most effective strategies for rebalancing your hunger hormones and reclaiming control over your appetite. Dietary mastery for hormonal balance. Protein becomes your most powerful ally in this hormonal reset. High protein meals have been shown to significantly reduce ghrelin levels while potentially improving leptin sensitivity. But not all protein is created equal. Aim for complete protein sources at every meal. Think eggs, fish, lean meats, and dairy for animal proteins, or properly combined plant proteins like beans and rice. Fiber is your second secret weapon. Soluble fiber, found in vegetables, fruits, legumes, and properly prepared grains, slows digestion and helps regulate both ghrelin and leptin. The slower, more steady release of nutrients prevents the rapid spikes and crashes that disrupt hormonal signaling. Healthy fats, particularly omega-3 fatty acids from sources like wild-caught salmon, sardines, and walnuts, have been shown to positively influence leptin levels. Research indicates that omega-3s may help increase leptin sensitivity, making your brain more responsive to fullness signals. The foods you avoid are just as important as the ones you include. Reducing sugar and refined carbohydrates is non-negotiable for breaking the insulin-leptin resistance cycle. These foods create the rapid blood sugar spikes that drive insulin production and ultimately disrupt your entire hormonal network. Lifestyle strategies that actually work. Sleep optimization should be your first priority. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep consistently. This single intervention can dramatically improve both ghrelin and leptin balance within just a few days. Create a sleep supportive environment, cool, dark, and free from electronic devices at least an hour before bed. Exercising strategically affects your hunger hormones, but the type matters. Regular aerobic exercise can help decrease excessive leptin levels, potentially improving leptin sensitivity in those dealing with resistance. Resistance training has been linked to lower ghrelin levels, particularly when combined with adequate protein intake. Stress management isn't optional, it's essential. Since chronic stress elevates ghrelin through cortisol pathways, incorporating daily stress reduction practices directly impacts your hunger hormones. Whether it's meditation, deep breathing exercises, or regular walks in nature, find what works for you and make it non-negotiable. Mindful eating practices can help retrain your awareness of hunger and fullness cues. Eat slowly, without distractions, and pay attention to your hunger signals. This isn't just about behavior modification. It's about re-establishing the connection between your conscious mind and your hormonal signals. The timing of your meals also matter. Allowing adequate time between meals gives ghrelin and leptin time to cycle properly. This doesn't necessarily mean strict intermittent fasting, but rather avoiding constant grazing that keeps these hormones in a state of confusion. Subscribe here to be notified when we release a video about the advanced intermittent fasting protocols. 
mastering ghrelin and leptin isn't about fighting your biology. It's about working with your body's natural systems to achieve effortless weight control. When these hunger hormones are balanced, you'll naturally feel satisfied with appropriate amounts of food, experience stable energy throughout the day, and find that maintaining a healthy weight becomes automatic rather than a constant struggle. Start with just one strategy from today's video. Prioritize getting 7-8 to eight hours of quality sleep for the next week and pay attention to how your hunger and fullness signals change. Your hormones will thank you and your waistline will follow. If this video helped you understand the hidden forces controlling your appetite, please hit that like button and subscribe for more science-based health insights. I'm here to help you unlock your body's natural ability to achieve and maintain optimal health. Remember, your health is your wealth and understanding your hormones is the key to unlocking lasting transformation.